Lower bracket Wait. round two, match Ooh. number two. Lucifer versus uh, Henry Prizel versus Ted and Hainu. Some undead action here. Dude, this is Nollywood without a fountain. What? What's in the middle then? This just a like a patch of earth. But there is something. I in know the on the minimap, but I'm I'm zoom I'm still in the game. I'm zoomed in on it right now. In the fog of war. Is the fountain gonna appear once the fog of Yeah, there's the ping. So KK is like, what the fuck, there's no fountain. <laughs> Maybe they hosted the wrong map, that's why uh, my game crashed, because... No, it's working for Chaco. There is a fountain for him. What the fuck? I don't see a fountain. <laughs> it seems to be the right thing. Yeah, like... It is on, on, on Chaco's stream, it's normal. Maybe it's just a bug for... I wonder what happens when the fog of war is lifted. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, Chaco doesn't really know what to. But okay, this is a uh, fountain of health, by the way, right? Um. Well, you can't no, see. <laughs> no, it's it's mana. Oh, okay. Something is wrong with my gamma. It seems. Okay, so now mass chat. <laughs> That's super weird. Some people see it, some people don't. Uh, yeah, it seems like it. We have a tavern hero first, by the way, for Ted and Hainu. They're actually playing something different than their normal Huntress thing. We don't have camera control at the moment, so sorry that I can't show you the game. Chaco is heavily explaining the fountain at the moment. But there we have it. Mountain King first on reprisal side. They're playing in white. But we don't have vision. Oh, he's going back to the fountain. I can't believe it. Chaco, what are you doing? <laughs> How much can you talk about a fountain, man? Some deep knowledge about that one, as it seems. Lucifer, of course, with DK and Fiends. I think oh, the fog of war lifted, and then I saw the fountain. Ah, uh, nice. That's Good so you. weird. Panda first. So finally you got your panda, Remo. I wonder, did you use panda because of the mana fountain? I think he... Very well it could be. He used the panda because you uh, suggested it before. Ah, that's true. So yeah, interesting. No keeper, no demon hunter, no potom. That's certainly a lack of damage until the panda is level 3, but we said it before, like, if the panda is 3, everything is good. That is not super normal in 2 and 2, if you pick him as a second hero, but... As a first hero, you can get it easily. True. Thank you very much, Oster Hasse, with the five month reset. Greetings from Heidelberg. Oh man, one of the most beautiful cities in Germany. Yeah, I heard that as well. <clears throat> so, Ted, of course, opening up with DK and Fiends as well. Checks are on the way already, and Reprisal wants to expand. That was uh, quite of their win, kind of their win condition yesterday in the winner bracket semifinal. When they had an expansion up, the game was theirs to take. But if not, then it was kind of a disaster. Lucifer stealing this from Tad. Not the fastest fingers, but he's saving his fiends. Don't really know what item it was though. One of the one more of those ridiculously weak drops on Nullwood here at the gold mines. Or the claws or something. Claws not too bad, I suppose. Panda gonna get level two here. He needs level three though. He does have the boots. MK with double claws. He has a lot of damage and a storm bolt as well. Long range. I don't even think Coil will be good enough to save this one. Expo coming up behind and Ted will lose his first fiend. It's always interesting to see an expansion play versus Ted in high new because the timings are so crisp. And if you delay like the tech, then at one point, this massive army will hit you. Panda is kind of surrounded there, though, and getting coiled. Is escaping, though, but not enough, and he's losing his first hero. Things are not looking too good for Hainu at all. Nice aggression Why? from Reprisal, backing up this expansion. Why didn't he TP? He had a TP. Um, and now, suddenly, this push became a lot weaker whenever it was supposed to come. The Panda had two fiends dead. There's going to be a bolt again kind of soon. Ah, oh, well. 30, 40 yeah. seconds, maybe. Yeah. But the chasing, hoping for a bash, perhaps. 
Does he have bash? Does he have clap? I we don't know. I haven't clap. seen a bash yet. I'm pretty sure that you go clap with, with the new patch. I mean, it's so good in 2-on-2, two two, especially with Nova. Nice blocks coming out, but the Mountain King has to be evacuated as well. More hits, but it's not enough to kill this team. Oh, is it? One more thing? Nope. Mountain King is running away. There was two claws of attack, and he is hoping for, a, or he is w wishing for a fountain of health now, but no, just a little bit more mana for him. Close to level 3 DK, man. That's super nice. Things are looking really good for Lucifer and Reprisal here, I feel. Tennis on tier 2, though. Slaughterhouse Lich. No tier 3 tech yet. Ted is not playing too much Crypt Lord, by the way. Always going for the tier 3 push once the orb is out. So you don't really want to uh, wait that long for the Crypt Lord to appear. And um, we saw Ted and Hainu being very powerful with tier 2 pushes, but now with the panda having died, being still only level 2, two fiends having been lost as well, they're not going to go for the tier 2 push. Instead, they keep on creeping up a little bit more. This is going to be close to level 3 for the panda, but he's going to need to take another care. There's going to be more time for the Koreans, for the MK, who is now level 3. The DK for Lucifer is also level 3. And tier 2 for Reprisal should be coming in soon. What does he go then? Well, water Breakers. teams, I guess. Water, water teams. teams are the easiest solution, I guess, to predict this. I mean, water teams in 2 and 2 are just fantastic. There's so much damage. If he gets to tier 3, even against the Fiends, against the Huntress, man, they will just explode. <laughs> They're creeping the dragon just with coil and stone balls. <laughs> <laughs> Can do that with a mana fountain, of course. Yeah. There we go. Robe of the Magi, also nice. And the Tome of Experience, not too bad either. They didn't see the counter expo attempt. They could have been cancelled so easy. Is this actually going to come through now from High New? Really shouldn't have been allowed, but I think they're still in time to cancel this. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, with five fiends. Well, the Huntress are closing in with the Panda in level 3. Catches the Stormbolt instantly, getting nuked as well. Oh, and clap. Everything is slowed. And this time he TPs out, but gives up the expansion for it. Yeah. There's no way Ted can handle this by himself. Or is there? Expo cancelled. Good Nova here rattling in from Ted, but he's eating a Nova himself. And the MK has yeah, so many Stormbolts oh, to oh. use. Doesn't even really need the first one for the first kill. I thought that was a surround. Nova executes the second Fiend. That's four Fiends dead in the course of this game for Ted. But he still has a good number. He has been fed after all. Yeah, nice Nova as well onto these fiends. Could die, but nice block. Uh, not really. Not closing it. Of course, surrounding with fiends is really, really hard. You rarely see that in succession. <clears throat> MK has more mana. What does he aim for? It's a level two storm bolt though, right? Yeah, level one clap. Yes. Going for the fiends again. Footies with Defend here are doing a pretty good job holding on. The Huntresses will in the end overcome them, but it's going to take a while. And I don't think the Koreans have lost a single unit yet. Man. Yeah, right? They are playing this so well. Tier 3 tech by Reprisal on the way. They are under no pressure so far. But we are around the time in the game when Ted and Hainu's army is incredibly fast. There's no Tier 3 for Lucifer yet. If they, they go double crypt for mass fiends, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> and I, really don't, I really don't know about Hainu's hero choice here. Like, Reprisal has shown that he plays, like, MK all of the time in mm -hmm. 2v2. And he still goes Panda? Like, Demon's pretty good against MK. And with this early aggression from the MK footies and DK fiends, they killed so many of the units. There was no push possible. And now it's too late. Tier 3 is almost done. There's towers everywhere. You don't really want to assault an undead base. Yeah. This is one of the very few times that I see this Ted and Hainu play not working. Like, not mm -hmm. at all. When Law Lion and uh, Chimiko got the expo up in game number one, they also defended. So getting the expo and then being able to pressure seems to be the answer. MK looking for the panda again. Nice. Stormbolt dodged with the invul. He saw that one coming. But there's more Stormbolts. Yep. And trading mana for an item is so nice. Yeah. If there's a mana potion here. And a mana Health fountain. potion being used. Yeah, my, yeah that's, that's what I mean. And there's one more. He's trying to walk back. But I guess the hammer... Oh, actually, he's letting him go. No, just a miss micro. Can he reach? Looks There's like... Oh, banish! 
Oh, that that's gonna hurt. Is so strong. Uses the heal scroll, so survives for now. There's not another Stormbolt anymore. He can't transfer. He has no siphon mana, but he can banish again. Destroyer push is coming. It's two towers still. The Mountain King is not in this here. Lucifer Rhetoric Egg and Creeping. Not helping here at all. Panda dies. Thanks. Oh, is he running away from this? Lul, he survives this with like three HP or so. Holy shit. And the Anids are battling it out. Destroyer is though very strong right now. Yeah, there is web. So that helps Lucifer. This They defended this push, I think. There's nothing they can do about it anymore. And once there's more teams, that should be game. How much longer is it? Ooh, not, not long at all. Uh, yeah, and fragmentation shards are cute as well. So more damage against fiends especially. Very interesting upgrade that it changes the damage. Not, not really changing the damage type, but ignoring the weaknesses of siege, uh, siege attacks. Well, Panda's staffing back in. He has mana now, but he's still kind of low HP. These are some decent fiend kills here if we can find them on the Lucifer. But good micro here from him, consistently kiting. They need to buy time for those mortar teams. Oh, the Lich was in trouble there. Damn, but the coil arrives in time. And that was, uh, yeah, you can't go for too much. No, holy shit, did you see that? In the blink of an eye, this Panda. Oh, boy. That must be game. Yeah, it is. GG. Ted and Hainu facing elimination. Who would have thought? So well played by Reprisal at Lucifer, man. Yeah, the early MK aggression against the Fiends. I think that's what helped them out a lot there. Yeah. And the Expo came up without any problem, right? Plus yeah, the like, totally uncontested. Yeah. And that on uh, Norwood, where it's not so easy to expand. Okay. Damn, I didn't expect that at all. I I thought uh, they were just rushing over Lucifer and Reprisal, but I'm sorry, man. I take that back. Super strong <laughs> game. Looks like they analyzed some replays and, and for about But yeah, we have to question this panda choice. It was a bad call by, by you, Remo. Well, you don't have to play him first, you know? You just uh, have to uh, drag the game out. But yeah, if you don't get him level 3, he's very underwhelming. We saw that there for a while. He was stuck on level 2 forever. Still don't know why he didn't TP out there when he was bolt almost surrounded. Could have made a big difference. Mm -mm. Mana Fountain, to be uh, fair, also pretty good for MK. That's not going to be happening here on map number 2. On Twisted Manos, this is the Chinese choice. Lolite and um, Chimiko failed here to defend that push. That was a super scary tier 2 push. Yes. Tried to do it with a fast expo as well. Didn't work. So Lucifer is calling for the go. Ted is calling for the go. We're just waiting for the admin to start this. Then hopefully it works this time. By the way, have you started to notice that the observer slots are starting to get filled up? I wonder if we're going to get to a point where we're starved for slots again. <laughs> yep. Like, we only it's have ridiculous. five left at the moment. It's getting scary again. I like oh. Bing Tang TV. It's only, cool. only four are left. <laughs> yeah, I guess but a lot this... of people who used Watch before are in the game. I mean, Chuck was in the game as well. Yeah. A lot of the players of the tournament. And this is 2v2, to be fair. So that comes into play as well. So now, hands from the keyboard. Neo, pray to the Warcraft Gods game, please. Remain alive. Yeah, I think it was just a weird version of the map. It's working fine for me now. Didn't yesterday <laughs> your game crash once as well? It was Norwood, yeah. <clears throat> because I didn't copy that one into the folder where it's supposed to be. Well, all right then. So map number two. The Koreans. Lucifer and Reprisal start toward the right-hand right side of Twisted Meadows. On the left, we have Hainu as the Night Elf and Ted as the Undead, of course. Undeads both opening with a Fiend play here. Surprisingly, honestly, you can go for DK and then can decide to be aggressive or not. 
And if you don't want to be aggressive, you can still take out the gnolls. But they are going with fiends immediately. On the human side, we have a power build altar. So no MK this time. It's going to be the Archmage to get that jumpstart to level 2 with the laboratory. Indeed. It is uh, not really harassable by Ted and Hainu since it's in the middle between the two bases, super far away. You can call militia the entire time. And with a fiend opening of uh, TD, that's, of course, everything is a little slow. Lucifer and Reprisal, the only non-Chinese team left in this competition. He's going for a late barracks here, so not the Yumiko play with the Lumber Mill, but he actually wants to go for Footman, which is, I think, uh, justified if you're playing against TD and Hainu. Keeper first, by the way. Yes. Gonna be very potent early on. Especially if you can get some fiend snipes, that's the dream. But also getting rid of a couple of footies here and there. Or peasants, because this costs a lot of lumber for reprisal to get up, uh, you know, this power build altar. And the undead, his ally Lucifer, won't have too much lumber to spare if he wants to go for a, for a fairly fast tech himself. DK, of course, coming out of both the undeads. And... Lucifer kind of messed up the build here. His DK is quite a bit later. Uh, it's not supposed to happen. That's true. But not so much. You see the tech? Uh, not the tech, the creep. Starting for Riprisal. Tattoo artist that day. Human pro at night. According to his stream, best human in the world. <laughs> Remove the Magi certainly helps. For the plus six attack and more armor points. Getting a wisp as well, not detonated by Hainu. Oh, dude, but the keeper's coming in, man. Yep. And there's a lot of hurt peasants here. How is this creep camp still so healthy? This is not supposed to take this long. Oh, man. One peasant dead. One has died to the creeps, by the way, so this will be the third peasant dead. One more entangled definitely kills another. You can reach. Yes, you will. Four peasants lost here. Oh, that's painful. And that's why we see this creep very rarely in 2 and 2 I thought it's safe, but the keeper was fast, was scouted before with that wrist, so he ran over immediately. And my call was completely bullshit. Happens. So, what's the follow-up here? I don't think he can tech really. He has to expand, right? But if he expands, it's also gonna be late. Feels like already... With these peasants lost, this is a rough game for the human. Yeah, tech will be so late. And you usually need those modded teams now. Maybe Lucifer can help out, but you don't want that as well. Level up for him now, both undeads on level 2 with the Anoli Aura. Skeleton War for a little bit of experience, but that's fine. Both players too lazy here to micro their skeletons. <laughs> oh, nice deny. So, let's take a look at the techs. Lucifer on tier 1, so is Ted, both here, taking very late, mass fiends early on. Yeah. Three already, 14. Hmm. Militia moving south for the creep, but getting intercepted by the keeper. Ted already in position to be aggressive here as well. Oh, that could be so painful. Lucifer is coming to the rescue though, it's gonna be a fiend war here. And the keeper did not follow the peasants, so at the Please moment they're getting attack. away with a black eye. Yeah, Lucifer's flying space here is so valuable right now. Even if he loses a fiend, which he will, to be entangled. As long as this creep comes up uncontested, that's fine. Water elementals level two are gonna be very strong, but the AM right now doesn't have the mana. He is gonna be level three, and he will have a water elemental soonish. But this is a scary push coming across from the Chinese. Must oh, he even wanted to expand. Weird uh, to go for that after he lost so many peasants. Of course he can't do this. He's starting to buy it, uh, to build towers. I think that's just a waste of resource at this point. But from the north comes Lucifer. And he has to help his buddy now. Another entangle onto a fiend. But he can't commit. They can't commit to this fiend kill. So this entangle seems like a bit of a waste. So much stuff here. Skeletons and furries as well. I think he transferred the... Uh... What's it called? The rod maybe to the Archmage there. So many skeletons! Wisps coming in for the detonate. Couldn't quite find it yet. So towers what will be coming up. The Koreans are driving them back. And is Ted teching? He finally is. But he laid his tech so much for this push. 
I'm not sure that was good enough. They didn't kill too much, that's for sure. They delayed the expansion. They have... Well, they do have the resources now, I guess, and a little bit of gold is needed. There's gonna be a second push by Ted and Hainu. More Huntress are coming. He's only at 29 supply. Very weak timing as well. But the entangle is the big difference maker yeah. there. Oh, and now they can just kill the expo wins being created. Perfect timing by Ted and Hainu. Still though, early enough of a cancel for the human that he still has the money to set it up again. Which I think Reprisal should do right now. Here comes the Wisp, but nice. doesn't hit too many skeletons. Nice detonate, hit it, uh, hit two water medals and the Archmage, so he's dry again. And it's becoming more and more Huntresses. Is, are under attack. is anybody getting level 3? DK is very close level 3, there it is for Ted. He has one coil only, but that one's gonna heal a lot. And that might open up uh, the hero focus against the Keeper, because he's so squishy. And he's just hemorrhaging footies, man. He's losing so many of them. Ooh, Archmage almost surrounded! Just a little too weak. Archmage boots coming in super handy now. Yeah. Reprisal. But she was lucky enough to find one more entangle. Attack. Should mean one more kill. The DK gets detonated, burned. Very well done there by Hainu. Kills two more fiends. That hurts so much. 420 gold just gone. And now it's down to three. And he was investing so much into this into these fiends that he delayed his tech because of it. And now they're kind of gone. But their strongest push is yet to come. Lich, Slaughterhouse, more fiends. Lucifer is not ready with his tech yet. So everything will be a little faster for the Chinese. Hainu and Ted are coming in again. But it's not too much stuff they have. Does the keeper have a stab? Yes, he does. Ultra Prize defense mode from the Koreans. Pretty much all in from the Chinese. What's gonna win? The towers here help out a lot. Keeper, here he is. With lots of mana. He's trying to reposition the Archmage to the back to safety. Oh, but he's stuck here. Hunters are not attacking though. Oh, and he can't get back there. Uh-oh. That tower positioning is really bad. He's stuck back there in the corner. Maybe he could walk out now. But he's losing so much, man. It's a nice back and forth here. Hainu, by the way, supply stuck. Can't go for more hunters at the moment. Lucifer is creeping instead of helping here. With a sacrificial skull. Ah, okay. Now we have a Zeppelin. Cool move. That's really nice. Of course, there could be web coming in soon. In fact, it's being researched right now by Ted. So they still have to hold on. The player's forces are under attack. Lots of gold now, of course, for reprisal. What's he gonna use that on? Just footies? That's really good. Maybe it might be better to give it over to the undead. In his main, he's being attacked by a lot of fiends and huntresses as well. DK for Lucifer is getting level 3. That's a big deal. And a scroll of the beast! That's really good. He's continuing to prove, man. He's waiting for his Lich, and then he will probably yeah. have to yeah. TP home, yeah. and yeah. to TP yeah. to his ally. But, like, what does Reprisal have? Militia, that's it. Ooh, he's in the middle of everything! The Keeper dies instantly! Scroll the Beast being used, and Lucifer is losing his Death Knight here. He was working so hard for this level 3, and now he just popped. Fiends are dying on both sides. Nova again, but of course there are coils for TD. Militia come only now, he forgot about them for a while, this Lich for Ted is already level 2. He could get around here though, but good presence of mind, moving him in a different direction. It was an expensive hole, but it was a hole at least. But losing Trains the Death supply. Knight, man, that's really an issue. Yeah, but they do have the resources, they can buy him back easily. Yeah. If he just gives them some. 27 supply for both of the Koreans, 35 and 43 respectively on the Chinese side and they are breaking this base not too much repair Lucifer is not helping at all with his small force Blizzard would be so nice right now I don't think they can hold on to this and they mass repair is trying Lich from the back line for Lucifer is trying to deal with the fiends here he has one Nova left but this main base it's not alive. falling barely alive is not falling, man. He's not taking care of the passants. Lucifer is fighting back now, even with the Shredder. Militia being called, no repair anymore, but they're fighting him back and they are. Like, it's working, man. They're holding this. Keeper is back. With the scroll of healing as well. 
And more entangles. There's one of them. That's one more fiend kill. One of the very few fiends that Lucifer has anyways. And now the Lich might be in trouble. He's chasing him down with his Huntresses. There's the entangle. And the surround. He won't get out of this one. Second hero is going to fall for Lucifer just when his first hero was about to come back. And the Chinese team seem to have this game within their grasp. Oh, and now we have level 2 entangle. Even stronger. More damage. And another fiend kill, man. Lucifer down to 25 supply. Can this expansion by Reprisal do something? I don't think so. There's a coil. Now. Boom. TP saves him for now, but there's no shop. He's not on tier 2. He can't go for a potion. And the keeper is welcoming him with... Oh, he's falling to the expansion where there actually is a shop. But yeah. He's going for the town hall again. And these workers are way too hurt to continue with the repair. This time, it's definitely gonna fall. These statues, by the way, have done so much healing and mana regen, it's ridiculous. And this main is breached. GG! And we have a third game again on our hands. Man, we are having so many games today. Entire best of three in the winner bracket final, and now two uh, full best of threes in the lower bracket round two. <clears throat> Haven't seen Goldshire today. Would love to see that, obviously. Could be the next one. Perhaps we don't quite know the videos, of course. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, and the winners will go up against Shaokeke and Shishi, of course. That's our lower bracket round three. So uh, then we're down to the uh, top four teams. And it's not going to be Goldshire, I'm afraid, Neo. But Lost Temple. Yes, I'm happy about Lost Temple as well. Whenever I see uh, the minimap there, it brings back memories from the glory days of Warcraft when this was still played in one-on-one. -on -one. Very good. When you, look at, when you look at Lost Temple, kind of like a Rorschach test, do you see a certain thing? Do you think I see a swastika in there? No, that's not what I was talking oh. about. Then no. I don't. I always see a Celtic cross. Ah, because, yeah, there is one in the middle, basically. But just... Yeah, but, uh, you know, Celtic are like... Yeah, it's a little longer is it, is it Celtic or Celtic? Celtic. Yeah, Celtic. Because, you know, it, it seems to be like a little embroidered or whatever. Okay, the so. colors won't be too good this time. Red and what is it, Dreamo? What's this color? This is, one, this is one of the difficult ones. I already have the page open. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> like rose. That is wheat. What? How is that wheat? Not a weed. Wheat. Ah. It's a. It's like a grain. It's like. You know, yeah, yeah, I know. What, what you make bread out of? Yeah, yeah. I know. Lost temple, everybody. Is my game loading? Hopefully it is. Yep. Nice! Something again. Here we go. It is, of course, 1-1. One, one. Now. Zip. And the colors are correct in red once again. Spawning on the left-hand side and on the top of Lost Temple. It is TD. And High New is partner from good old world lead days on the other side reprisal and lucifer i can so imagine those two guys having a lot of fun together when they are going out in gangnam or something isn't gangnam like ultra expensive i don't know it's like the party area right i thought it was like the like the rich people area but i don't know um, party district Very hip, exclusive, and trendy venues. So I guess it's a mix of both. We're both right, Remo. Isn't that the best? <laughs> Perfect. So, <clears throat> this is a fantastic expansion map. However, the two undeads are in the expansion position, but that's no problem for Night Elf, especially. They can just send one wisp over and then pop down the Tree of Life. Or is it going to be more defense-oriented? 
No expansion, but rather produce, produce, produce. Because these pushes by Dylan Hainu are scary. We saw another very, very scary one on TM. That one was successful. We're going Mountain King again. So this nuke is gonna be sick. With Coil, Nova, Stormbolt, maybe yeah. even Banish. This time we have a Demon Hunter against it, though. Yeah. Far better choice. Well, this is the old uh, Lost Temple, right? Yeah, there's no Tavern here, so... No Panda even possible. Yeah, quite easy to figure out if it's the new Lost Temple or the old one, because the new one is on ice. And it's not that great. But there was, like, an updated version for this one with the, ta uh, with the Tavern for some really? tournament. Yeah, oh. maybe it was Shadow League or something. I don't know, there was one. You kind of uh, mentioned Shadow League so many times recently. Did you watch some VODs or something? No. Just... I don't know. Stuck in my mind for some reason. Alright. So, both expansion positions are not great. They're going for it anyway. I knew... And Reprisal, respectively. This is, of course, always guaranteed level 2. I knew now with the Hunter's build a little delayed so he can start with the engine of war creep and get level 2 for his demon hunter with a nice circlet as well and gloves of haste. Oh, actually, ah, yeah, I was just about to say sending the workers back, but he's not. He's super low. Oh, he's oh, he is, right? He's not expanding. Yet, at least. Hmm. I'll play up a tower. Is like a fake or something? Or just preparing for, I don't know, better days. Interesting how it changed on LC, right? Um, back in the day, we used to see the players always go for the temple, grab the claws, and yeah. nowadays it's always the expansion, or the gold mine first, yeah. for the level 2. Yeah, creeping got a lot better, so it's fairly easy to creep this. I mean, it was easy before, but creeping mechanics in, in general vastly improved in the pro scene. A player's forces are under attack. Level 2 here for Lucifer, he gets his aura unlocked, but the demon is still being annoying against him. He has barely any mana to work with anymore. But the MK grabbed up another Gloves of Haste that goes nicely with the Bash. I don't think he goes Bash. Against Demon Hunter, I think you should really go Bash. He may have chosen it before, though. Not quite sure. He's gonna get level 3 here very soon. And he's just not being contested at all. Ooh, these Our items. Forces are under attack. The fake is working, by the way. TD is looking for this expansion, but there is none. And uh, there are five new peasants at the natural expansion of Lucifer, which is, of course, a way better position. Hainu is not expanding at all yet, going for more Huntress at its 29 supply, which is usually the timing they start the first push. And Scout and Scout here. Sees no expo up here. Player Unsurprising, Hainu not attack. really the fast expanding player with that push that you mentioned. Where's he Town gonna hit? Under siege. MK with the footies in the main of the night elf here. Could get a Huntress, but there's Shadow Melt actually, so he won't. And he's expanding at Lucifer's natural now. This is pretty cool with his distraction push coming up at the same time. True that. Quite secure. TD is uh, creeping up, using the coil to fasten things up. No protection for him. The Mountain King didn't accomplish anything, just scouted for an expansion. There is none. Scouted for something that's building right now, but there was nothing. And yeah, man. Looking fairly good. They have all the time in the world at the moment. Lucifer this and Reprisal. This expo is pretty late, though. Yeah. However, getting there takes a lot of time across the map. All right, middle fountain, here we go. Who gets the big one? They're still both alive, the Overseers. Level 3, big advantage now for the DK for Ted. Here comes the first mana burn. Level 2, Stormbolt is still ready, though. Is he going to be able to detonate before it? No, there's a long-range Stormbolt. Can he get in range to force this TP? I think he should be. With the Fiend coming in to block from the right? Not quite able to do so. <laughs> That was close, he gets uh, almost a surround there, gets a surround of the Fiend, well done by Reprisal. Oh, the coil into nowhere, that always hurts to see. But with Defend and Fiends behind it, man, they can push forward so hard. And nice surround with the help of the creeps, opens it up again. And there's the save. So both 
Null should go to reprisal and lose it now. Mm -hmm. they but the DK has healed for Teddy. He's coming back. He still has fiends. The battle for it is still going on. And the Koreans don't have mana anymore, thanks to the demon. 32 supply only for Ted though. He lost quite a few fiends again. But in the end on Twisted, they were able to come back despite losing those to uh, the Keeper of the Grove, which is not here yet. This is first retreating though. Only to the demon with boots, nothing Real else. Forces are under attack. Lost one fiend to him already, doesn't want to lose any more. The middle now, we have the human against Ted plus Huntresses. So, of course, the Pyro can't hope to grab that one. And grabbing up two big consumables in a strategy that is designed around pushing can be a massive difference maker. We have the one of the win first. So good against the DK. So, so good. And a greater mana. Holy shit! He will put that to good use, especially once the Lich is out. Is he coming? Tier 2 is finished, Lich is in production, right Slaughterhouse ready as well. And Lucifer is taking to Tier 3. Does he really have the time to get that? I think so. I mean, they always do this, right? Mana Stone. Oh, yeah. Very good drops here on LT. But this is the big push, 40 supply. On both sides. No upgrades yet on the Hunters. 1-0 on the Fiends. A player's forces are under attack. And 2 level 3. Ooh, Mountain King is so distracted by this creep. Loses the footman to it. But the Legion Doomhorn will help him to get there faster. Not the item that he wanted though. <laughs> this is a no destroyer push. Only Fiends. Nice positioning though for Lucifer's fiends here in the back. Very hard to reach those. With that one fiend kill, he got his level three finally on the Death Knight. And Reprisal Man, he's just chilling, just taking out the remainder of the camp. Oh, but now he's getting creep jacked. Zeppelin might be a good idea here. Yeah. There's no web yet, I think. And the fiends are not even in range, so that should all be fine. Tier two tech is on the way. Cancels the shop that he was building in front of his base. The two tech is almost finished, man. Pretty, under siege. pretty fast after the expansion. Speaking of expansion, Hainu got one himself now at his gold mine. Still though, this push is scary. Lucifer coming from the low ground up the ramp. He's not gonna get engaged upon, it seems like. Demon's back with a telly staff. He's level three as well. The barracks is gonna fall quick and easy. And on tier two, Reprisal can get a second hero, but well, what else can he do? That's a good question. I mean, he can build the Sanctums or whatever at his expansion, uh, but they will be intercepted, so that's hard. He has a thousand gold. Tier 2 is ready. Is it Blood Mage time again? He's waiting for some lumber. He has to repair a lot. Oh, he's supply stuck! He can't get the hero with the loss of the farm! Oh no, this is not looking good for the Koreans now. They started this series so well, and now his base is wiped out. Lucifer, though, is going to hit tier 3 here, and he's going to TP in. That's going to be a big advantage with the orb. Big Nova into all of these footies. Here comes the TP. And call to arms once again being used way in the back. Here comes the TP. One Hunter's lost level 4 MK. All right. I thought he's going to town portal more aggressively, but he did that on Twisted and got heavily punished yes. for it. So uh, certainly some learning effect here noticeable on the side of Lucifer. But well, they didn't need to kill with that push. They do have the expansion of their own now, almost fully mining. Does Reprisal think he has the space to go tier 3 for more teams now, or is he going to play this more cautiously? Destroyer upgrade almost done for Lucifer, just started now, and we do have the Crypt Lord coming in for TD. Nice. Impale, of course, nice. Got a 50% damage boost. With patch 1.29. Which is pretty sick, right? 50%? That's a lot. Yep. By next to the fountain. Going for the Lich first. He got bolted and clapped. And he's just dead. So sick. Yeah, this Lich is toasty. Losing one more fiend. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. the effect of the fiend orb. And the Lich and the TP. Oh, that was yeah, a really nice yeah. trade there. Wasn't even a trade. 
was just uh, an exchange, which is kind of the same thing, but uh, for some weird reason means something else. <laughs> Please elaborate more on, on that. <laughs> Tier 3 is coming. Reprisal is a confident young man. Towers coming up once see. again, call to arms. Dude, we've seen so many call to arms from him. Yeah, the workers must be so annoyed. Like working all day in this gold mine and then coming home and then grab the pickaxes and fight like foreign invaders. Maybe they have like uh, aggression issues, you know, and they really enjoy being able to fight and take to battle. Now they have to. I don't know, what would be worse? Fighting, uh, mining gold your entire life, not a single day off, or having to fight and probably die? Well, Question I think dying the is the least favorite option, so... Let's go with, uh... Mining, I guess. Well, in Game of Thrones, Neo, <laughs> in the Valyrian stronghold, the slaves that were mining uh, in the volcanoes or whatever, they uh, preferred to die, so that's why they started this Order of the Faceless Men and were given the gift of uh, of death, and we're looking forward to it. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. But that, that was quite nice. I'm a little impressed. <coughs> I don't know if you're making this up or not. Oh, this is a big impale if he hits this. A little too late. Here we go. Not hitting too much. Gets the statue though. Nice aura for the Mountain King. More attack speed, more movement speed, but big Nova here as well. Finished it up with uh, some destroyer shots, so Reprisal can't do too much in this defense. DK falls from TED, so the nuke again, so nice. MK is almost level 5, <laughs> he used the greater mana already, but look at the clap, look at the banish, there's no stall bolt anymore, oh no, he used the wrong spell, so the Lich survived, he transferred a healing potion or something. Lich now level 2 for Ted, I thought it was level 3, but no, he died earlier. Level 5, MK, what's he gonna go for? Has to be the Stormbolt long range onto the Lich, he's dead! And now Ted left with only the Crypt Lord, we love that hero, but what can he do really when he's on his own? Without mana either, the demon has to do all of the heavy lifting, he doesn't have a TP anymore, his supporting cast of Huntresses isn't really doing anything at this point in this late game. Mana potion again, Stormbolt again, clap, and another hero dies. Just too much nuke. This hero focus is just so insane. I thought they lost this game, man. How often did Reprisal's base got wrecked in this game? Like three, four times? They're still holding on. They're still able to fight. They're still able to win those fights. He only has three peasants left in his main body. <laughs> what a game three again. This two and two tournament is really a blessing. Yesterday we had great games, today we had great games. Cryptlord now for Lucifer as well, he is on 4-3 heroes, but especially the MK on level 5. With a Blood Mage backup, and just by the way, they found... What's it called? Ancient Jer oh, Django of Endurance, so they're even attack. faster. They have the level 2 DK aura as well, 30% movement speed for everything when they group up. Pretty sick. There's quite a Hail Mary play going on by Ted and Hainu. Ted is expanding in the upper left while Hainu is trying to expand in the bottom left. Reprisal is shutting that down immediately, but buying some time for the Undead expansion. If that thing comes through, there's a high chance that uh, TD and Hainu turn this around again. TD, man, he needs so much time to lick his wounds here. He lost his two heroes, first and second hero. I'm really surprised, honestly that the Korean aren't pushing harder. That being said though, I mean, Reprisal has only his heroes. They are fucking six strong heroes. Six strong, not six strong. But I guess he wants more things. What does he do? He's tier three, he doesn't have any production buildings. Look at the expansion. Oh, ah, yeah, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice that you criticize him without like, looking at the entire picture. Such a big map. Spreading you know, it's fake it's news. It's hard to see everything. Spreading fake news. We don't... By the way, we still haven't seen uh, the red camps taken yet. The islands. That's true. I want to see that. I want to see an ice shard. <laughs> I always forget what those items are. Ice shard. Infernal, Infernal stone. Dude. Flute. Like for a uh, demonic figurine thing. Yeah. From Doom oh, they're going to the island. Nice. And it's also... No, wait. It's, it's not the... A scroll of uh, resurrection, right? That's the other one. It is. Yeah. Okay. Scroll of resurrection and the scroll animate, of animate dead, dead as well. Yeah. 
That could be interesting. Can he creep this though with only five units? No, oh, the under is coming in as well. Ah, okay, didn't see that. So let's know that hard to take this creep camp. Once yeah, the dragons are wept, you could take him out easy, and then the only thing relevant is the granite golem. But isn't that so smart to give Ted the expansion here now? And not punishing this one fight? Yeah. I mean, they are waiting for their mortars. I'm not so sure about that either. What's the item? They got the furball guy. Oh, by far the worst. The storm's pretty sick, though. True. The town is under siege. But I don't think it will change too much. It can be dispelled, right? I don't know. Can he? It takes a lot of dispel though. He has like 1200 health. Yeah. So, so workshops being attacked by the huntresses, but there is two levels of masonry, so this is going to take a couple of years. <laughs> but I mean, they're split pushing. They're buying all oh, the mortar team damage. Fragmentation charge, baby. Yep, and Demon Hunter doesn't want to dive into the towers. In the meantime, Lucifer is defending against TED. Oh, <laughs> one unit impale. Nah, at least he gets that one. More teams are getting attacked. Can he just kill them all with a Demon Hunter? I think so. Two abominations already. I mean, with the expansion, of course, he can afford it. Main base. Yeah, suddenly, TED is at 70 supply again when he was like at 35, just. Uh. There's a miss a rally, ago. by the way. The three fiends in his uh, backyard. Now he's noticing it. There's also one fiend of Lucifer's in the human expansion. Huh. Maybe against the Zeppelin drop or something. Just to make sure. Bears for High New. This is the oh, first time I think I've attack. seen this guy on a higher tier level than one. Oh, the blood. Uh, the. What's his face? Burn, I don't want to say. Gets away though, and once again, they're doing a split push really well. Maybe the Koreans should just ignore the main here and let it suffer a little bit and force a fight. I don't know, where can they force a fight? It's really hard on LT. Everything is like a little narrow. <laughs> Except in front of the base, I guess. Attack. Impale hits three. That is too low mana here, I think, to fight. Oh, he has a greater mana, actually. Maybe... Oh, that was a nice impale. Hitting the entire Congo line there. That was indeed nice. But and here the comes... Human is attacking the under expansion. Yeah, there's no T um, no main to f uh, TP to. And there's a lot of mortar teams with 3-0 upgrades, by the way. Holy shit. This is going to die so fast. Here we go. We can save them into the Zeppelin if he needs to. There's a fight. Undead Mirror is going for the Crypt Lord here. But there is an... Invo potions, so that should be fine. Ursa Warrior, oh, he has chaos damage. I kind of forgot about that. He is pretty good, and the stun as well. But yeah, he's taken, <laughs> taken out now. Wow, he died so fast, man. He has 1100 health. Yep. He just disappeared. And the Keeper dies as well, thanks to the Hero Nuke. Stabs out the Blood Mage to save him. But that's it. Oh, nice position here. He took out the Haunted Gold Mine, took out the Ziggurat, and takes out a few units. Fight continues down south. As the Crypt Lord is still alive, no item or mana anymore, though. Nice Nova. And the Demon Hunter is in as well. Ted and Hainu still alive, still pushing forward. Crypt Lord, another Impale ready. And now this Demon Hunter is going to change the tides here. The mana burn is so sick right here. Impale again. Very nice. When's the human going to come to help? There he is. And the more teams in such a beautiful position on the high ground. Demon Hunter dropping low. Has to TP out. And TP from Ted has to come as well as the follow up. Nice save on that fiend. One more. A bomb dies. And we're reset with three mines each. What a back and forth, man. The entire game. They're fighting so hard for the lower bracket final that's to come right after this one. But the Mortar teams, can they survive the bears? Nice clap to slow them down so he can micro easier. The Paladin is kind of a trample. Holy shit, this damage. <laughs> that's pretty sick, but the bears, I mean... They all took damage, but there's still a lot of them left, and they're really fast with this Unholy Aura. Usually their problem is always getting to their targets, but they do have Unholy Aura too here, of course, from their ally. I thought this one in the was one. I thought this one was in the books, but no. The Chinese are making this a very interesting game, dude. <laughs> he has ten mortar teams, eleven mortar teams. 
with 3-0. Don't forget about the 3-0. There's Upgrades. two more Mortar teams. 13 Mortar teams. 15 and 14 and 15 are in queue. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has nothing but Mortar teams and heroes. 80 supply heroes Mortars. Okay. Dude, but if there's one Impale Nova combo... Yeah, I got he has to protect them so well. Main gold mines are dry, by the way. Lucifer without income. It's one gold mine versus two. What an absurd game. That is the perfect description for this. Two Six one upgrades for Hainu. Heroes of four, four, two. Close to three. Five, two, three. Okay. With the Zeppelins, by the way, the Koreans could expand on the island. <laughs> Do that. Level two Impale coming in. But he doesn't have level two Nova, so that kind of hurts. But he has level one, uh, le level three Coil. So nice for the Crypt Lord. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous that the water teams, man! Force against hero armor, they're not that great. Crypt Lord can tank so much with his three armor. And spike carapace. Sooner or later the reprise will have to come to his main, that's what he does right now. And this should be the sign to retreat for Ted. He's still staying in this. Okay, there we go. Comes to his senses. Time to get the fuck out. So TP versus TP trade, I guess. And that's good for them. Being up a base. Yeah. More mortar teams. 80 supply mortar teams. Nothing else. Expansion for Hainu in the bottom left, by the way. This will be killed easily. But the Siege Bears are killing the Crypt and going into Lucifer's base. Can they shut him down? There's another expansion by Hainu in the upper right. They defend this expo. If Lucifer comes here... Okay, they're both here, though. Okay, both uh, for a second there. I was like, what? But both Chinese are over there. Here we go. This could be the massive clash. Can they protect these mortar teams? They're in a really good position right now. Stormbolt disjointed with the anti-magic. So well. They could set up down here in front of the ramp where... But then the mortar teams are super well protected. Oh, man. This is it. This is the big battle. Massive impale, and of course, look at these shots. They almost volley one fiend with area of effect damage. It's absolutely bonkers. Cole comes in. It's level five now. Crypt Lord still standing strong. The fiends are melting against his nice impale, though. Is there a Nova follow-up? Not really. The impale not strong enough. Heal scroll coming in as well, and Ted is losing so much. And the bears as well, dude. These mortar teams. The damage is just ridiculous. It's way too much. They didn't Mort have to fight this. They were up a base. Yeah, Mortar Madness. They were so greedy trying to defend this expansion. But 15 Mortar teams are shutting down this defense. Keeper falls. Fighting against the Mortar teams up a ramp behind a choke. Oh, that wasn't so good, boys. I agree. I agree. And this one, more. look at It's 15 Mortar teams. Absolutely ridiculous. TP out. Ted gets his heroes to safety. But that's Please. about it. That's about it. He lost 30 <laughs> supply at least. Oh my but God. he has a gold mine. Flare being used to scout this. Hainu is on two gold mines still. There is an island expansion, by the way. That one lasts quite a bit. But the first expansion is going to expire soon. So the Koreans are going to be on one gold mine. Yeah. The Chinese have three right now, but at least one's gonna die, at the very least. I think he scouted everything with Flair. I mean, he has enough mortar teams to yeah. scout the entire base. You think? You think he has enough Flair, Neo? Yeah, maybe, maybe one You're or sure two more. Maybe, maybe one or two more to have a constant map hack or something. I don't know. As the game is coming down a little bit. Thank you, Eland, for the 2 one three sub. Other TPs everywhere. By the way, Blood Mage is almost level 3. Could be very nice for the Siphon. Lucifer has a town portal. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Where's the MK? Out there. He has no TP. 
buys one now, I guess. He doesn't have the gold at this point. Oh, but the, the castle is sturdy enough here to take a bit of a beating. Or they give it up. And he goes for the next TP. Both Koreans have one, and now they can go for the Night Elf Natural. In the meantime, the Demon Hunter with bears creeping up the island. Can he do that with only Demon Anti-Air? Well, <coughs> Demon Best Anti-Air, who am I kidding? Could be the Ice Shard. Here we go again, 15 Mortars against the Tree of Life. You know how that ends? <laughs> this is so funny, man. Like, the... They didn't even reach their destination, it was already gone. That's the item. Level 5 for the demon. And an infernal. That's big. That's really big against the mortar teams. Drop the base into the mortars and look at them die. Impale, Nova, and uh, infernal. Might be a key to victory, but look at this concave, man. It goes across the entire screen. Oh my god, the tree of eternity, man. Yeah, good Whoop. base race here with uh, fiends and destroyers <laughs> versus 8 billion more teams. <laughs> Do they one shot every single building? Uh, Is that focusing no. everything at the same time? You're having fun, haven't you? This, this game is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Players' forces are under attack. Oh are gonna, man! Are we gonna see a last stand, or is it actually gonna be an all-out base race? I want to see this. I still think if Ted like gets into a good position, Impale Nova, these mortar teams are gonna yeah. die like flies. Yeah. Exper and he he can morph destroyers as well. Speaking of die like flies, this keeper of the grove is not having a good day today. <laughs> and yeah, I guess this will just continue. Yeah, why did he even go Keeper second? I have oh, zero Nova. idea. <laughs> Bold call Nova is just instantly dead. <laughs> <laughs> Infernal! Drops it drops the base. the base! And a lot of these mortar teams are stunned for a long time, by the way. Impale coming in. This is going to be three mortar kills right away. So many destroyers! And there's no answer for the destroyers. Uh-oh. The Koreans, I think they have to TP. I think it's time to leave. Oh, or is it? Do they have a TP? Impale is coming in again. The Inferno is not doing too much anymore. It was a good opener to this fight. That mage is dead. Dude, it's... Get out! Get out! He's losing so much here. If this demon gets to level 6... Unbelievable. These destroyers, there was just no answer to the destroyers. We forgot about it, they forgot about it. <laughs> I, I thought there was more uh, fiends to counter that. But apparently there's not. He can no. of course go gyros easily. He has triple workshop. Yes. He only has one mining gold mine. Is Shredder is attacking that mining gold mine. Shredder drop her ass. Lol. There is another one by Lucifer in the upper right, so he is mining as well. Hainu yes. is mining in the upper... No, it's got ca it got cancelled by another Zeppelin drop. Oh man. So sick. So sick this game! We have gyros now. MK is almost level 6. This could be his level 6. Shredder gives a good bit of experience. Uh, it's not enough, right? Could get, yeah, he gets some experience now, right? Oh, Three XP away from the ult is the Mountain King, and then he's not nukeable anymore. Blood Mage is coming back from the altar, but they know this. They can cancel this. It's close though. Yes, five seat. bears, but they're far away. Ah, it's hurt already. It's not too much surface though. Ah, oh, the infernal is helping so much. Yep, 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 yep. yep. And if he came out there, he would just. And there's no tavern on this map, so he can't get it back. And Lee, uh, un uh, he needs to make a new altar. Unless, yeah, he needs to make a new altar. What the fuck is this game, dude? What the hell? So what? Are, what is the answer now to gyros? Um, yeah. Destroyers are without mana now. Demon level 6, I suppose? <laughs> How many drivers does he have? Oh, a good number. Yeah. And they have three attack upgrades. Yep. And the destroyers DK, have no assassination squad from Lucifer again running across the map. Lich is almost level 5, by the way. A but he may be forced to respond to help his ally first. There's not too many mortar teams remaining, right? Is it only these two? No way. 
three. Yeah, uh, four. Three? No, three. No, four. He yeah, lost four. 11 mortal teams. Yes. Wow. Lucifer is determined to wipe out this expansion before helping. I guess that's a good idea. Oh, Demon Hunter is cleaning up Lucifer's expansion in the meantime with his staff. So well done. But if they fight now, Demon Hunter is not in this and doesn't get experience towards what Exactly. Expansion for Heine was up in the upper left. Mining with one wisp then, by the way. He only has one wisp remaining. And destroyers are taken care of. Ooh, dude! This is one of the sickest games of the year. Yeah, by far. It's unbelievable how they are still alive. Both, actually. <laughs> the Koreans are not mining anymore. The Blood Mage is coming back though. Level 6! Uh, Mountain King somehow got level 6. They killed the wisp, the destroyers killed the wisp in the top ah, left. Ah, I see. And that's a massive deal, dude. Yep, Avatar is pretty strong. Can't get burned, can't get called over. This is unbelievable. He's not <laughs> mining any he has, gold. There's a Zeppelin left, so he can resupply that gold mine on ah, the island. Ah, I was thinking, why is he not reproducing them? I see it now. That's a breast TP. Can lose a statue, that's actually an expensive loss. And the fiend gets saved. So, are they both with one mine running? Yeah, right. But the destroyers, they attack again. <sighs> Ted and Hainu officially have 42 gold. <gasps> Dude, all the workshops have been killed. He's tier one. Oh shit, man. Yeah, no but more. there's no panda, so the gy he can't repair the gyrocopters actually. A after a fight, he's going tier two here. Okay. On fifty-one supply, please okay. kill some peasants, bro. A bear is shutting this down again. Good multitasking. <laughs> Dude, how long has this game been going on? Uh, thirty-three minutes and thirty-four seconds. <laughs> this is kind of fucking with the European qualifier, by the way. Lost temple, man. What a map. Alright. Bear is gonna get dealt with, though. This is. Is this level 3 paladin? Oh, that would be such a big kill! Yeah, of course. And oh, oh, baby! Yeah, and now the nuke is even better against TED, but the Mountain King is. Uh... Where's Cosmodon? <coughs> he doesn't want to use that here, right? But he's just running away. Why, why is Lucifer not over here? Oh, they okay. give up this gold mine. That was their last gold mine. We have no more mining anywhere. <laughs> On Lost Temple, man. That has never been said before. So now what? <laughs> Does anybody have money for a new expansion? Players' forces are not at the attack. moment. They need to sell some stuff. <laughs> Level five lich for Lucifer. Five, five, three heroes for him. Bolt, Coil Nova, Vanish is gonna kill anybody. Yep. Well, I guess uh, under heroes can't get coiled. But, but we have holy light. light. Yeah, it's holy light. Bolt, Vanish, holy light, Nova, Impale. So much nuke. Game. This motherfucking game, dude. 101. Oh man, I want this final clash so bad. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I think I think they just said there's no invuls for well there's one invul on the demon. Everybody yep. else is empty. Yep. I I think that has to be it. Go for the hero kills. Yeah. Go Cosmodon. <laughs> Go Magic Immune. And Hammer Time, bitches. Flare also so nice right now, by the yeah. way. Reveal being used everywhere. He doesn't have... are revealed because they have no uh, main anymore. The last creep camp of the map. Bottom left. Demon, please go away. A little bit of gold. A tiny bit of, uh, of an item. He didn't buy back the keeper, right? Nope. Not worth it. 
<laughs> Solo <laughs> experience for the DH. Good idea, actually. Oh, they're trapped back here. Do they have a town portal? Oh my god, they don't. They don't. They, they don't, don't have a town portal. They don't. It's fighting time, boys. Ready to rumble or what? <laughs> oh man, this is going to be such a clusterfuck. What is the gy What are the gyros doing? Oh man, what a fight. This fight is all over the place. Where's Casper now? Where's the hero focus? Here's Banish. Here's Bold. Where's the follow up? He wants the DK. Where's level 6, by the way? Gets the spell. The Mountain King is down to 50%. Gets executed. No way. How can you lose a level 6 Mountain King against the nuke? Unbelievable. And the air battle was won by the destroyers. Yep. The gyros weren't good enough. No. Nope. Not many enough. No. Nope. Yes. DK though. Rejuvenation. <laughs> Coming in last second! Reanimated! Are you nuts? This Mountain King is dead! And here we have the undefeatable forces! Lucifer is losing his Death Knight! Explodes into Ice Shards! This Lich dies as well though! Last remaining heroes again, the Crypt Lords! Oh my god, what a fight! Just this game is officially unreal. bad shit crazy. You said before it's what did you say? Absurd. Absurd. Uh uh, scratch that. Bad shit, bonkers, nuts, whatever. <coughs> and they actually turned this around. Again. But how the hell did he not use his ultimate? <laughs> the very very did good he, question. Did he still clap that fool? Player's forces are under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's, he's being revived here. He sold everything for his MK back. That takes forever though. Demon is level 6, but no mana for the ultimate. <laughs> Has to use Divine Shield here. Rejuvenation, dude. It's so good now. Yep. There's no dispel. Nope. Eat the ghoul. There we go. Nova. <laughs> He reaches against it. Oh, but he can siphon against the demon. He's gonna be ah, out of mana all the time. Ah, yes, you are right. No motherfucking way, dude. <laughs> the DK is coming back. He's being revived by Lucifer. He sold his black citadel and pretty much of everything else. That's the same what TD is doing. He has 430. He supplies like he had to build a new ziggurat because he sold them before. Ooh, he's down to the Cryptlord. Cryptlord level 5.6, by the way. The demon may have to sell some items here. Yeah. Has to get rid of the orb. And the staff. A player's forces are he gets rid of everything. Yes, he, he has to kill some of his destroyers, right? To make, to make room. To make supply room. The destroyers are so good. They take out the statue. That's a big kill. Yeah, that's huge. Lose one destroyer fall. against it, but okay. So, totally worth it, yeah. Yeah. Alright, he can make... Ziggurat is finishing, he can make one hero again. Of course, the DK. Oh, Animate dead. Ted is killing off more <laughs> to get his second hero back as well. Crypt Lord for Ted is close to six, by the way. Yep. Alright, MK. <laughs> Here you go. He's back. Get some mana. DK's back as well. The tag team are under attack. is in force. It's like the shade, fighting by the way. The fight. shade is so sick for Ted. Sees them moving. The demon can't burn all of them. If the demon gets bolted and siphoned. But he's gonna have ultimate dude. He's gonna have metamorphosis. Are we gonna see Avatar from the MK as well? This might be the best 2-2 two two that I've ever seen in my entire life. It certainly is for me, dude. <laughs> We're officially 40 minutes in this game. And I don't really have words for this anymore. They know that the altar is at least holding one hero for the undead. Alright, yeah. here we go. Still no Kazmodan. Stormbolt, Siphon, but still Metamorphosis, calling over, but he still has more mana, and he has more healing from the Reju. They can't get rid of the guy. Here comes the Impale again. Banish, Bolt, Coil, is there a Nova? He didn't have the mana! The Counter Impale hits everything but the MK. There's one more Stormbolt if he uses it. That's it, the Nova comes before the Demon is dead. 
But the destroyers are still alive. And the fiesta continues. The hero kill fiesta continues. They're aiming for the altar, but the DK is back. Impale again. The Crypt Lord looks mighty, uh, mighty hurt here. Blood Mage as well. Here he is, level six. But one more to all the paladin. D shield last second. No. I, uh, no mana anymore for the Crypt Lord. The bears are winning the fight on the ground. Clap being used again. Lich is kind of hurt. Does, it, uh, does he have a coil? He needs to have a coil. There we go. Last second again. Reach on the DK. And the Lich is the falling. Lich. The Lich is falling, mate. He is dead. Level 6 on the Crypt Lord. <coughs> when did I ever say this, man? Ted and Hainu. They are powering through this. Steph Sanctuary being used. And he blocks the Mountain King. There is no ultimate again. Oh. This they... Blood Mage provides them with so much mana. I can hold on for a bit, but Impale, he's surrounded now. He can't get out. He can't afford to lose this. MK get banished. Helps, but not against Destroyer. Good idea. It didn't work out, though. And it's GG. Lucifer and Reprisal are out in a game that is just... Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Ted and High New Man. What a fighting spirit. 42 minutes and 22 right. seconds. That was Holy the best game of the year for me. Yep. Wow. That I... was absolutely insane. <laughs> well, I want to make love to this replay file. Maybe I will just... I have no idea. I just... Sick. <laughs> the moment when they were... So many destroyers, and he didn't think about it, and got wrecked. That was so glorious. I would love to know if he had Avatar or not. Unbelievable, man. What a game. Yeah, man. So, so, so sick. And now Ted and Hainu, they have to play another game. Another <laughs> best of three. They will continue with lower bracket semi-final. They will play against Shao KK and Joshi Shi. Of course, we're going to cover it afterwards. GCS Europe. So a lot more Warcraft. And if this is going to get even close to what we've witnessed here, man. It's a holiday for us Warcraft fans. Stay tuned. Relax a little. Get some new drinks and snacks. And we're going to be back with the lower bracket semi-final here after a little break. See you in a bit.